Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Dave the Diver. Chris here from Friendly Frenzy Games. As always, super excited to hop back into this one. I honestly cannot explain how much there is to do in this game. Every time we play, we're unlocking something. We're progressing towards something. There's something to check off the list. So I always end up thinking about this game as soon as we end up hopping off of it, just because there is just that little bit of, you know, hit of progression every single time you hop on here. So... Just looking forward to hopping back in here. Obviously, we've got a couple of quests to complete. We have to go through and still continue upgrading our dive suit, um, all of our dive equipment. We still have to upgrade our staff. Um, just so much to do. We're going to have a couple of um, special events today. Obviously, I think we have the VIP coming today, which is going to be really cool. And then I think the following day we have the Merlin event. So lots going on in this episode. This is going to be awesome. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. We are. There's no complaints here. If this is your first time with us, thank you very much for giving us a chance here today. If you're a returning viewer, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you, you do. That way you'll get notified for every time we drop some new Dave to Dave content. In a pretty good rhythm here of dropping something daily. So if you guys are liking what you're seeing, definitely appreciate you coming back and hanging out for a little bit. So with all that aside here, let's just quickly check in on what we got. I know you guys won't be able to see this because of my camera overlay, but it is uh, today actually in the game day anyways. We do have the VIP coming and then tomorrow is the Merlin event. So a couple of things on the go right now. Obviously you can see we've got some quests that we're working on right now as well. A lot of it just needs to be turned in. Um, we did have this fish yesterday, but I must have sold it because it must include the one that we had at the fish farm. So going to need to make sure because this is what we need for the VIP. Going to need to make sure that we're polishing this off on our dive today. So no real worries there. I don't think we left off on anything. I think we had a pretty clean wrap up to yesterday's episode. Obviously, we still have 4,400. Um, we weren't really able to afford any of the next set of upgrades yet, so no real worries there. Let's just hop in. Let's get to diving. Let's see what we can clean up here. Ideally, we would catch another Merlin. I should have checked, actually, to see if there was some steel traps that we could have snagged from Cobra, but realistically, we can... Um, when we go back for our second dive so as long as i don't forget to do it then we're really kind of no no loss there but let's see what we can get we know the one fish um is i think it's like 50 50 meters below sea level 50 to 100 area anyways that range i don't remember actually what we have for challenges to be completing either i obviously in um yesterday's episode or the other day's episode if you caught that uh first thank you but we did complete finally quite a few of the challenges that we've, have been kicking around for us for a little while. So the seashells, all of that, um, the bones, a couple other things there. We unlocked our eco gemstone bracelet or something. It isn't really all that good. Not right now yet anyways, because we don't really do a whole lot of weapon crafting. I would imagine though, because we unlocked a blacksmith in the um, ancient sea people town or whatever, that it might come into a bit more of a play but we'll see i could have used a drone on this to kind of send back some higher grade meat but we aren't com i don't know what hit me there but uh we aren't completely reliant on that sheep head thing yet so i don't really care too too much i guess it would have been nice to be able to maybe procure some different ingredients here we go here's a merlin here i'm gonna want to send this bad boy back whoa he almost pierced us there he's locking in again already what happened to him. Whoa, buddy. Hopefully we can get him with one more shot here. I just don't want to miss it. There we go. So we're going to drone him for sure. Nice that we've already spent one upgrade, or we spent like 6k, 6,500, getting a drone upgrade. So this use, lets us use this um, drone twice per dive. It's not per day, it's per dive. So that's super helpful. Okay. Wow, we're getting a lot of... Okay, this is just... Actually, I thought... It's not what I thought it was. We'll take the shark, though, even still. We're starting to do really well with just all kinds of shark meat up in our uh, restaurant and in our farm here. So I'm going to drone this guy as well, just on the odd chance that we don't find another Merlin. We've only been able to find one each time we dive. I wonder if they increase the likelihood of finding it because we're a day out from this event now or if they really don't care. But either way, though, going to need some ammo. I thought I ran into bullets, but... I must have picked them up already and just not realized. The parrotfish, 
I'm, uh, I hate these little things, these little catfish. If I had the net, the net gun right now, I would be scooping all those guys up. Because we need to get them done for a challenge, so. I think this, this guy, this sheephead dude, is going to end up being our new parrot fish. He's hostile, but. Steal his meat here again. But the parrot fish, we've kind of capped out at this point. He's not really worth all that much, so I don't know if it's really worth scooping all of his meat at this point. He got us through a lot of the early game, though. Very appreciative for that guy. Shout out to our homie there, Parrotfish. Parrothead, whatever he is, something like that. Barracuda. These things suck. But they're hostile, so... I'm really only catching him right now so that he doesn't continue to follow us around or do damage. I could probably outrun him, but not a big deal. Limestone cave. We had to be... Oh, yeah, nice. I got to check for that chamber thing as well. The record. Chamber of record or something. I was looking for this the other day, and, like, for some reason, it's not the easiest to find. I don't want to get caught up in that. Okay, we're going to just kind of hang out on this cliff here. Gotta just find where the entrance is. And then this is for a side quest as well. Let's see if we can snag this seahorse. Now, I don't know for the seahorse races, I don't know if every seahorse we collect is going to allow us to use it in the seahorse races. Obviously, we unlocked that yesterday um, in the game parlor in that uh, Sea People village, but we'll have to see. It'd be pretty cool if you can go, just go through and register any sea. Uh, seahorse that you have. I just don't know if that's how it works. And I don't know if there's ones that are faster or slower. I would imagine that probably is the case. We got a very basic one and obviously could not crack. We barely cracked the top three, but we did, so we'll take it for now. I don't think I really need to be picking up these seashells anymore, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to end up being a crafting material later. Honestly, the only reason that I'm still picking them up is because they don't really weigh a whole lot, so no real disadvantage in picking them up, I guess. But. Boom. Grade 3. That's awesome. This, this sleeping tip thing is amazing. That's why I was trying to collect all the um, scale things from the cuttlefish. But obviously, if we're farming them, apparently we can't just harvest that. We can't harvest that material. It's just the meat. So it doesn't really do anything for us there. Blue seashell. Okay, fine. I would imagine we're going to start needing, like, these flasks, the glass or something, eventually. I don't know if that new blacksmith is going to require those. It doesn't say anything about weapon crafting, but we've never... It doesn't say to sell it as junk, either. So I'm not really sure if we're going to end up needing glass for anything or not. No idea. We haven't even needed this stuff for, like, a challenge yet, so... Still kind of confused as to, like, what the role of some of these things are in this game, but... We're able to put him to sleep. Let's see if we can do it now. There we go. We had to pierce him twice, so I guess that doesn't count as third grade, but that's no problem. These are the jellyfish I think we have to eliminate for the quest. Unless we did that already, I don't remember. Not the quest, sorry, the challenge. Okay, gotta kill another four of them. Come here, big boys. Oh. Kind of nice that our harpoon gun does enough damage so I don't have to spend ammo here. There we go. One more. Get this challenge done and out of the way. That'll be helpful. Snag this big boy. Okay, apparently I need one more. I can't count. Let's get one more. Nice and easy. Just go over here, get our weapon crate. Oh, nice. Yeah, that sleep tip thing is amazing. Pick this up, disassemble this again. Hush dart level two. That's cool. Okay, pick up some ammo, that's nice. Got a big boy shark down here. Kind of sucks because we've already, um, oh God. We already used our drone, so this guy's gonna be pretty heavy. I don't know what this is doing. Is this lesson letting me jump over him? I don't know what that was. Gotta watch my oxygen though. There we go. Steal his meat for sure. 
again same kind of deal with these bones like i'm not sure once we get past the challenges really what use they are but steal this guy's meat might have to look for an escape pod it sucks because i got this close to the limestone cave so ideally we would be able to finish this uh quest here but i need some oxygen it's been a little while i feel like since we've seen any of that nothing here okay see if we can find any a little further up here i'm hoping that i find oxygen over an escape pod obviously we have an escape pod so that's kind of a last ditch effort here but i am hoping to find a clam or something some so something that's going to give us some oxygen here break this down we were at least able to polish off that fish. Got a couple of seahorses here, which is always kind of cool. But I still want to just see. Like, it's easy enough. Is this oxygen? No. Oh, that is, though. Let's go. He's going to lock on us. No, he's going to leave us alone. Okay, awesome. So we got full oxygen here. I only have three shots, but I think that's all this guy takes. So I'm not 100% sure, but... Again, this guy still does really well for us at the restaurant. We're breeding a lot of these right now at our fish farm, which is super cool, but probably can't have enough of these. Eventually these will cap out, but I mean, if we have enough of them on hand, might as well. We're gonna eventually, hopefully kill enough of those reef sharks that we get another one of the row, and then we can just keep kind of farming them at our farm, but for now, Okay, so let's go back over to Limestone Cave. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. It's kind of darkened up a little bit. It's a little greener in here, so I think that's where we are, but... Uh, is this oxygen up here? Silver bowl. Okay, steal a fragment. So I am just looking for the entrance of this again. So we can hop back in here. I don't know if it's gonna be down. Snag this guy real quick. Some bones. I'm gonna find the entrance. I'm looking, looking. I think we're going too low. either. Ow. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Smack him against the rock there. S A. Nice. Okay, fine with that. Go ahead and steal some oxygen here. really just looking for the entrance to this cave because like I said if we can polish off another uh, quest while we're down here that'll make when we go back to the sea people village just a lot more efficient but I don't know I feel like I've been looking for this thing for a while I don't feel like it's all that low so might just be missing it somewhere I guess we were actually pretty low but I feel like it's usually on the side somewhere. I feel like this is maybe too high. I don't even know actually for sure we're still in Limestone Cave to be honest, so. Wow. And this thing is just full send in us right now. Let's get some sea grape, because we can. Put this guy to sleep. Yeah, 99, buddy. Boom. Starting to get kind of heavy. We do have a lot of meat on us though, so. Some more sea grape though. All those ingredients are really gonna help for when we're trying to put together the higher quality recipes. So that's really the idea of just continuously farming those just when we can. Obviously we don't make a whole lot of use of them right now. Some of them more than others, but especially right now with being able to dispatch staff, that's been super, super helpful because then we can get the ingredients that we really don't find too, too much at all. Really only available through the cooking pots. I really want to find where the entrance is to this damn cave, though. Nice, level three sleep. Let's go ahead and 
Disassemble this. I do not know where this cave entrance is. I don't know if we actually were back in Limestone Cave, but I know that's where we need to be. I think we're too low right now. Obviously we're swimming quite slow too because we are so heavy now. Obviously we've filled up our kind of max capacity here. I think we're going too low for the entrance of the cave, but gonna just check because we were through it really quickly i just don't know where that was now it's amazing actually how easy it is to get lost in this game and again like even though you're against like a lot of the same enemies and there's a lot of the same loot and it's like a lot of the same scenery it amazes me honestly how much there is to do in this game and like as much as the grind feels very familiar the things that you do with all of the loot, the things that you do with the gold, just make it feel worth it. Like, this is one of the only games where I've actually felt like they've kind of made the grind worth it. All of the upgrades and stuff make sense. It's actually a really tough decision trying to figure out what makes the most sense to upgrade and when, kind of in, like, in what order. And I think a lot of it is really going to ultimately end up being kind of based on your play style, but... I love the fact that each upgrade really, you know, you can make a case that uh, it should be it should be collected because there's very few games where everything makes sense to to upgrade. But just kind of sitting on our oxygen canister right now. Not sure if we're gonna need it or not. Yeah, I, I cannot find the entrance to this cave. This is going to be way too deep. Blue hole depths. So I don't think I'm going to bother going down here. But where does this put us then? Okay. So I don't actually know if we're still in Limestone Cave or what this actually is. I'm going to go over here and pop this clam. We did get our ammo refilled already, so that's cool. I feel like this cave entrance was like 50 meters above, so I'm gonna try that. We're just gonna go up. Keep going up, keep going up. I really thought it was always in where those jellyfish and stuff are on the right, but I've gone in there a couple of times now and we haven't made it anywhere, so. I'm gonna try and not do that, but let's swim up to about like 50 meters see if we can't find this entrance. Let's see what we got in here. Might as well grab this too. Golf club's really cool because it's so long you can swing like a couple of things at a time. Oh yeah, perfect. Some additional air, here we go. It's been a pretty good haul though, honestly, on this trip. We got a couple of sharks, we got a merlin, we got, uh, if we could, got, I think, one challenge done. But that's what I mean, if we can find a way to uh, polish off this other quest as well, we would have gotten a lot done on this play. On, on Just on this single, on this single dive. Okay, so escape pod here. Now I feel like this is too high, but maybe not. Definitely sucks like how slow you go when you're so full, because I'm so full all the time. But again, it's because there's so much to do with all of this loot. Okay, I don't need that. Luckily, like all these trinkets are like relatively light. Like you can see 0 0.1, 0 0.2 kilograms. Uh, let's go up over here. Maybe the cave thing that we're looking for is like up over this ridge and down. It's gonna 
get to the point very quickly where we cannot hold anything. But until that point, I'm gonna keep stuff in my bags. I cannot believe that we have almost 100 kilograms um, of allowable kind of carryable weight. Whoa. Oh, this is gonna suck. I was gonna say, I don't know if I'm fast enough to evade these guys. But we got out of there. Maybe this is where the limestone cave was. I thought it was over in this area the whole time, but maybe I kept swimming too far left. Oh, gotta get down here a little bit. It doesn't actually look like the region's changing at all. And by that, I just mean we aren't getting any, like, title changes for us. Like, I haven't seen... Oh, no. I want the shark. But we can't really hold them. We'll just let them swim by, hopefully. I really want to snag them, but I'm trying to do too many things right now. I still don't know if we made it back to Limestone Cave or not, because I haven't seen the name pop up, but like, even when we transition from, oh yeah, perfect. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we need. Good. Amazing. So we'll be able to have polished off a couple of things now with just this single dive. So that's going to be really important. What's going on down here? I don't really know what we're doing down here. I just know we had to look for something for our sea people, homies. Barracuda, yo, you want some, bud? Of course you do. Boom. DW. I'm not sure why that wasn't perfect grade, but I'm gonna need to. No, wrong thing. Oh yeah, wow. Well. This game set me up to fail there. I can't even pull my harpoon out. What's going on? Okay, relax, guys. I'm not going to be able to pick this up either. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. I don't know why... I think C is my like character inventory. Play too many RPGs, guys. Too many RPGs. Pulling out my character window. Okay, what's too heavy for us? We need this because this is gonna be our new parrot guy, our new parrot fish. What don't I need? Barracuda. I definitely don't need that. The jellyfish. I don't need either. Because I'd love to be able to get our. Yeah, this I don't need. But it's perfect grade, so maybe I'll take it. I need that. Get rid of these. Keep the grade threes. I want that for sure. Okay. So we need this as our quest item. I want this. Oh, nice. We're underweight. Oh, perfect. Okay. Awesome. Nice. So we're only slightly overweight here. That's going to be absolutely huge. Because we were able to kind of trade the meat that we did want for that what we did for that uh, meat that we didn't want so it's amazing to me that the jellyfish is so heavy the jellyfish are like seven kilograms each i don't know if they just provide a lot of meat but like you would figure they're like pretty thin i don't know why they would be so heavy but either way let's just escape pod on out of here now should be in good shape I guess realistically, I probably still could have harvested a couple of fish there, but there's no real point. We got what we wanted down there. That was huge. Like I said, we got, what, like three, four sharks? What's this about? Captured seahorses. Oh, yeah, dope. Let's put them all in our inventory then. Or the, we could put the higher ranks. Let's put the higher ranks in. These guys can all be used as ingredients. 
But the higher rank ones, I'm imagining we... Yeah, Dave will be carrying racing seahorses in inventory. Visit sea people to register them. Okay, perfect. So the higher grade ones, that's what we're going to do. These guys are obviously all grade one, so it shouldn't really make a difference. But boom, keep an inventory. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. Got lots of marlin meat. Nice. Good. Pretty good haul. I would say. <laughs> Love the thumbs up. Bonchos are G. Okay. Cobra. He does have steel traps. Perfect. So we're going to hopefully catch a marlin in there. Maybe two. But I've never seen more than one marlin at a time. I do just want to quickly go though. And see if... if I don't remember if we cleaned up our farm and if we cleaned up our like fish farm and stuff before we left yesterday's episode. Okay, it looks like we're all good here. Because there was something that was like every couple hours. I don't remember if it was here or if it was our fish farm. It must have been here. So we'll have to check there before we go. Like once we get out of our next dive. We'll just check there before going to the sushi place. This obviously we can't do anything with. I don't think. Yeah, no. I think I'm going to send this Marlin to the kitchen. Um, just because it'd be nice to farm him, but at the same time, past this event, like it'd still be worthwhile, but I just want to make sure that we're going to have absolutely as much meat as we possibly can for this event. So I'll we'll just sit on that for a little bit. I'm going to go back to the boat. So the fish farm's fine, our rice farm's fine. Um, I don't know if there was anything to do at the sushi bar with our training or anything. But let's have a quick look. Obviously, we still have one dive before we start this VIP event. So, okay, so we got five marlin here. Feed our cat homies. There you go, bud. Oh, I already fed him today. Okay, sweet. There is staff, though. So what's the deal? So we can train... These guys are coming back with a bunch of soy sauce today. That's going to be nice. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about anything there. We don't need to do anything. So we can just go get ready. Go ahead for our um, next dive here. Again, we did buy the steel traps. So that's going to help us catch um, some higher grade marlin if it'll fall into there. But we'll see. I should have checked. Ugh. I should have checked the challenges. Doesn't really matter, but once this Marlin event's done, we'll uh, go ahead and keep progressing through the quests because we should have quite a few to deposit now. The only reason I'm not doing it right now is because they're all like towards the bottom of the sea. So when we use that mirror to go down to the sea people, which is where we have to um, basically drop off all our quests, there's no chance of catching a Marlin down there, I don't think. They're only pretty much like swimming towards the top here, so no real point in going that low when we're trying to kind of gear up for this event just to make as much money as we can that's kind of my thinking anyways i don't know if i'm right in that but here we go we got a marlin right here so we want to set him up yeah boy how you like that one my guy boom no problem drone come and pick up this beast awesome have a good one dude that's what you get perfect grade marlin nice gotten a couple of those perfect grades should have a lot of meat to play with for sure that'll be awesome now i don't know again we've never seen more than one per run here so i don't know if we can actually get another one we're gonna just kind of skim along the top here and see if we come across any if not i mean we'll use a steel trap on a shark or something because guaranteed we're gonna find what's coming out of here oh here's the little stupid manta ray thing come here buddy yeah, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Oh, yeah. Go home. You give us a lot of meat, too. And peace out. Enjoy the trip. Oh, wow. Apparently, we've got perfect grade already. Wow. Did not know that. Okay. Either way. That'll still be really good for us. Hopefully, we got some row from that ray, because then we can... Uh, farm them. We already got one in our farm right now, so I'm kind of skipping over these shells right now. The urchins, though, we can make some recipes with. These little guys, we can... The shrimp, we can make recipes with. 
obviously this agar we can make recipes with. Seahorses, hell yeah. Now, I don't know what, if it's just random what rank they are, I'm not 100% sure. Because obviously that one seahorse was rank two. What up, shark boy? So we're all out of drones, so we're gonna need to like hold on to this guy's meat, but not a problem. He's not too bad. It's the great white or the reef shark that's heavy. what my skinning button was real quick. Okay. So far, so good. So again, with this one now, we're just basically looking. We've completed all of our quests. We just have yet to turn them in, so that's not a big deal. Um, but the whole idea with this dive is to just come back with some high-quality meat. These damn barracudas, man. Again, I'm basically just capturing him so he doesn't keep following me around. It's more of just a pain than anything, but... Snag this seahorse over here. Let's get this sea grape. The shells, I, again. It might be worthwhile picking up again soon. I'm not really sure. But right now, I don't really see the point. We'll have to see. Whoa. We're like guaranteed to find one of these sharks down here every time now, which is really cool. Oh. Boom, perfect. We should be able to farm these sharks relatively soon, I would imagine, just because I feel like we're killing like one per dive, which is really cool. I wonder if they only put one per dive in, and if you find it, you find it. But I feel like we don't really have an issue finding those guys. I want to find some more of our long nose sharks, though. It's amazing. Keep going through and continuing to upgrade those recipes because we're finding so much of their meat. Here we go. Perfect. So we know he's about a three shot right now with our current kind of setup here, or two and a harpoon usually. So save us a bullet here. Nice. Skin him up real quick out of the way of the barracuda. Annoying little thing. Nice. So with this, I don't think we're going to spend too much like unnecessary time down here. Once we're like overweight, we can basically call it a dive. We've got done everything that we needed to get done, I think. So just see if there's any more sharks here. No real point in trying to go super deep because, again, I don't really want to lose all of what we have in the odd chance that we can't find oxygen and stuff. And, I mean, realistically, it's going to be... its a, It would be a lot easier if we're going to go deep to just um, dive using the mirror to start us low already. But we'll kind of hang out in these depths, but I'm not going to go through those caves. I just want to see if there's any kind of low-hanging stuff here that we could find. Like even these jellyfish to just bring something back wouldn't be the end of the world. Maybe we can go ahead and do that. I have ammo now, so maybe we'll just shoot these guys. We know they're pretty heavy as well, so my inventory is going to fill up pretty quickly anyways. Yeah, you can see it's still adding about another 7 kg each time. So these guys, it amazes me. It must just be they have a lot of meat, because I don't know why they would be so heavy. There we go, nice. Let's see what we got for a cooking ingredient here, and then honestly, I'm just gonna take this escape pod up. Get out of here, dude. I'm hiding behind a rock, okay? Let's just take this escape pod up on out of here. No point in risking it. We're already overweight, so. Might as well just kind of finish this one off here. Super nice though to be able to have used those traps. Get some really clean stuff. Okay, obviously this is rank four, so we're gonna move him over. Rank three. And I'll keep those two or those three as ingredients. Cool. Twenty-seven. Nice. Twenty-seven of these guys as well. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. 
So that's all good there. Nice. Got some bonus stuff. Redispatch. Might as well just keep pounding out that soy sauce. That's what the majority of our recipes are using right now. So that's why I have all of our guys just trying to farm, farm some soy sauce. Um, we have some challenges that we can clean up here. So let's do that. Just this one, basically. Okay, so you can see that these challenges have slowed down considerably. But I would imagine we're going to be popping off pretty soon because there's no way right now we're getting the 650 with what we have. I need to go low enough to be able to get these brown or these brittle starfish, so that's fine. Um, obviously, we're going to need a net gun, though, to be able to make quick work of these catfish. So, oh, jellyfish. Okay, so this will be easy enough. Um... That's just the red one. Okay. So that's just getting low enough as well. But we just need to kill those. Easy. Okay. What's our next reward? Echo waterproof bag. Not sure what that does, but that's really cool. Okay. wonder if that gives us additional storage or what that is. But So we already have that medium gun. So I'll have to bring that out with us one time. And just kind of farm catfish. But for right now, let's go to the rice farm. Because I'm pretty sure there's something to do. I just don't remember what that was. Apparently no. Oh, okay. Pick weed. Okay. Everything's looking good right now. In two days. Okay. It is what it is. We picked our weeds, so that's fine. I, again, I don't think there's anything to do with the fish farm. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, nothing. Okay, it's fine, I'd rather know that. Go back to the boat and we can get ready for the VIP event. So it's not the Merlin or the Marlin or whatever it's called. It's not that event yet, but I don't wanna. Okay. Let's go to the sushi farm. Let's go, I'm stoked. Get this VIP out of here. So we have to make sure that we put his dish on the menu, I'm pretty sure. I have to make sure. Oh yeah, Boncho is ready. Let's go, boy. He's gonna whoop up some crazy things here. All for this VIP, look at this. Clean them hands, my guy. Nice. Okay, so. Oh, nice. So we don't even actually have to serve him during the service. This is literally just to appease him right now. So we had the ingredients. Boncho was able to make the um, plate. And this guy's going to be stoked. Let's go. It's Tom Cruise looking guy. There we go, buddy. Hell yeah. He's loving it. Nice. Cool. Okay, a thousand bucks, we got 50 likes and a robot samurai poster. No idea what we do with that, unless that's maybe just an inventory item. That's completely possible. But nice to be able to kind of get his stuff out of the way here. A um, thousand gold, nothing to scoff at, for sure. Now we can make this as an actual dish. Starts at 130 taste, $375. Amazing. Steamed wolf eel. Okay, so this isn't the Marlin Knight, so we're going to just put as many high priced dishes as we can on here. Let's go ahead, we'll put this on. We'll, okay, we can make 10 of those. Woo! Like, I'm pretty sure that's the only time that we can make it because it uses a boss item. So, I don't want to make like too many things here because we want to make sure that we are maximizing that. That alone is going to be, you know, five grand. So if we can kind of do this smartly here, we should be able to make quite a bit of money on all this stuff. So look at this already. We can make, wow, the taste on this. Okay, I'm gonna just skip that because again, I'm pretty sure it's just all cutscenes that we've seen before. We have a lot of different ingredients that we're able to enhance these recipes right now. So high taste, high price, that's absolutely huge. But you can see already though, that our higher, um, our more kind of put together recipes are the ones that are really gonna start paying dividends for us here. And you can really only get that with these extra 
um, ingredients like soy sauce. So it's super important, I think, at this point to fill your staff so that you can dispatch them to be bringing all of this stuff back for you. The rice is super helpful as well, obviously. Um, we can put one of these on the menu. It's going to be six dishes. Okay, so that's 16 plates already. Should be good money. We can put this on. We can put three of them on at six each. So that's 18. Again, with this, I'm trying to just balance the numbers because I don't want to have to throw any of these high price um, expensive dishes out. So we're at 28. This is 34. Honestly, I feel like this is probably pretty good. Worst case, if we close up early, but we can sell all these, I'd rather do that than um, have to throw any of these high prices out. Because realistically, if we could sell all of these, that should be a pretty good haul in one night. So, And I really want to make sure at the very least that we're selling all of these steamed wolf eels. So this is going to be the menu tonight. Obviously, like pretty extravagant dishes. Um, lots in terms of ingredients and stuff as well. So going to just finalize the menu here. Our staff, we can go through. I'm honestly, I think I'll just hire everybody at this point and they can just be dispatched to get us some ingredients at the very least. We'll just hire them all. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but in my head, it makes sense to me. So we have a lot of people in the waiting room. These guys are all dispatched to get soy sauce. But you can see how much we can fill out our staff. I think it's going to be super important. This is basically a way for you to farm ingredients. The fish farm is a way for you to fish farm as well as diving. And then the rice farm, obviously, you can farm rice, right? So we'll just dispatch right now. I don't really care so much about um, training these guys, I don't think. But we'll see. What's this? Curry block. We don't have anything that uses curry block yet, so I'm not going to be too, too worried about it. Um, I'm going to just put everybody on this soy sauce stuff, though, because, again, like every like all of our recipes right now need soy sauce. We're going to eventually flip this to salt or maybe start doing like a half and half split. But for right now, I don't think we're really um, losing anything by putting all of that to soy sauce. So go ahead, plug that up. Obviously, we still have quite a bit of money. I could afford to train this guy, but... His cooking's through the roof. This guy's a G too. Hmm. Cooking, serving. That guy's just amazing. But I think for right now, we'll just chill. Maybe I could put out another... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how much money we have after this service. But... We should be good to go. Let's open this up and get to crushing. Here we go. So we have 28, we have 34 plates, and then apparently infinite, but I have yet to see this actually be served. So my biggest thing is I just wanna make sure that we're not tossing out ingredients and let's just make some cash. Okay, so these guys have the drinks already. I'll run this. Everybody's wanting these high price things. Let's go. I'm gonna just try and run it to the ones that I see first. My guy doesn't run fast, so I'll let them kind of take the ones further down, I think. Oh, this sucks. Okay, I forgot our guy can clean dishes. That's amazing. I do have to pay attention to the wasabi, though, because I don't remember if any of our guys can do that, and I don't want to run out. Okay. I feel like we're crushing right now. Okay, I got the plates, got the beer. Boncho is going ham right now. He's the only one that I see making food. You guys gotta keep running down to the end. Keep running down to the end. There we go, there we go. So everybody's going after the green guys first, which is amazing. I don't really know what that means, but... I don't know if that means they're stoked, but... There we go. Oh, perfect pour. Okay, so we did actually run out of meals. But again, I'd rather do that. It looks like we only had to serve two, but we completely sold out of our menu. I think that is amazing. That's really what we wanted. We made a killing that night. We're up to almost 20K. That should have been our best night by far. I feel like we killed that one. 34 likes today. 12K. Wow, we didn't even get five stars. That's huge. We actually went down. I thought that was a perfect one, but maybe that's because we didn't have a full menu. 
not really sure but we made 6500 wow just on this um puffer which is really good because that's why i'm farming those at the uh, fish farm if you remember those white puffy fish it's for this dish right now and it's only level four we could continue pumping that like absolutely huge i'm surprised that it actually wasn't the boss the boss meat that they like that eel stuff but a huge night huge night this is easily the most money that we've been sitting that we've sat on um ever it is marlin party tonight let's go it's party day today prepare the right ingredients and make a fortune that's the idea that is 100 percent the idea if we have any success like we did the last time okay we got oh it actually tells you when we have weeds perfect okay so i'll have to go there and pull them no problem okay sweet um so we did hit platinum last time got quite a bit of followers to get to um, rank up here plus we need a dish of 375 but no problem weapon shop okay sweet um, let's go to all the other places before I forget go to the fish farm quick see how we're doing here because I don't know what we actually got for eggs on that last run puffers though are killing it awesome this one's just gonna be like a marlin heavy um, I thought I sent him back how is he still here we must have got marlin the other day but send him to the kitchen because he is we're gonna need him for tonight yes we actually got some more tiger sharks now Amazing, so we can just start farming those. I don't care about the jellyfish But tiger sharks to be able to farm these big boys. That's gonna be amazing. What's the density? Unable to oh, okay, so we have to start clearing some of these guys out because we're over capacity now So let's send all these guys to the kitchen then um, Not all of them I guess how many do I have in here? I have nine Okay keep uh we'll keep four perfect so it's still 80 percent maybe i'll just f keep the tiger sharks farming or i'll just keep two in here yeah there so we're at 60 percent eventually i'll probably pull those uh, long sharks out those brown long sharks but Okay, we had almost 20k, but I guess we had the expenses to pay. Either way, though, that's amazing. Still at 16k, that's absolutely huge. For one night to make that kind of money, that was huge. Okay, boom, pull these weeds. Got nutrient-rich soil again, let's go. Keep growing that rice, thanks for looking after that stuff, my guy. Go to the boat. Actually, I probably should have went to the sushi restaurant. We can put an ad out for more staff, just because, again, I want to make sure that we're going to have all of these ingredients just keep dispatching people for different stuff sushi so we're gonna hire just a bunch more people here I don't really care about the quality of the people that I'm hiring I don't think that could be a mistake but for right now anyways I mean we can dismiss people if it comes down to we really need the right staff at the right places but for 400 400 dollars that's amazing get another four candidates here that's huge so that'll take a day or two I think but even still not a big deal we can go through and train these guys maybe it would be beneficial I'm gonna train her a little bit just ahead of tonight just to make sure that we're able to uh, capitalize on all of this here so her serving's even better maybe I'll try and get okay See if we can bump these guys up. Just go hard. We gotta have a really good night tonight. This guy's expensive to train. But he's amazing. Okay, let's make sure that our cookers are all good. Man, this guy having like even stats across the board is insane. 
kind of pointless at the same time, but like this guy has been a G for cooking for so long. I don't know if any one of these stats like increase the likelihood of their uh, little skills popping off, but. Okay, so we spent like 15K right now just on training. But this is to basically, I just want to make sure that we're in the best spot possible to be able to take advantage of this Marlin event. Honestly, we've spent so much time, so much time preparing for this one. So I just want to make sure that we are good. We spent a lot of money on our people. As in real life, man, that really counts. So you got to invest in your people. Now, hopefully they're going to be able to turn it around and just kill it for us. But I don't actually know. Like, when you increase serving, obviously they should be able to serve better. I don't know if that increases their speed, their attention. I don't know. I don't know what that actually does. But obviously the higher the better. I'm not going to do any quests still because, again, we're just very Marlin fo <laughs> focused on this one. Amazing. Captures two fish at the same time. I don't really care about that so much. I just want it for these Marlins. So let's see what we can get here. Got another two dives to really make this worthwhile. Let's go. Let's go. I'm really hoping that we can find a Marlin both times. Catch it. Nice, clean, grade three would be amazing. Let's see what else we can find. But that is first and foremost priority here. Just get us ready for this event tonight. We should be able to smash. What the heck is this? Nothing. So the marlins, like I said, we know they like to kind of chill towards the top here. Just kind of hang out in shallow water, so. Everybody keep your eye out. Silver bowl, okay bucks. That was a struggle. Didn't want that, but I'll take it, I guess. Shock tip, okay. There we go. Here's our Marlin. Amazing. Shock bang stick. Got a bunch of shock weapons here. Gonna bring this guy over. Yo, Marlin guy. Set him up, set him up, set him up. Get away from me, little dudes. No, 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 no. Yes. It was very close. I did not want those little fish to uh, trip this net. Perfect. Oh, my. No way. Must be because it's Marlin Day. Nice. I have never seen more than one on a single dive. If I knew that, I would have... Wow. If I knew that they were that close, I would have tried to pull them both. Oh, that would have been amazing to save. So... That's it for those sensor traps already. We can't use those again. We can't buy them from Cobra again either, so. Not a big deal though. They help, but it's not the only way that you can catch them. If for whatever reason we run into another Marlin. But, snag that oxygen. Now we can basically just um, search for some big stuff to bring back. Look for some sharks. Paired fish, the guy's probably stoked. He just gets to live now. I can live his best life. He's paid his dues. He's fed a lot of people. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna get a net gun. Because I can probably use it on these little things now. Okay, you guys scared, eh? There's some jellyfish that I don't need. Oxygen, I might as well, I guess. Sea urchin, okay. Parrot fishes and stuff up here. There's a lot of those jellyfish. But those aren't the ones that we need to kill. We need to kill the ones that are in the lower areas of the water for the challenge. We need those glowing ones, and then if you've seen us play before, we haven't seen any yet today, but those red ones that explode, we need those sure Oops, horse. it's lionfish man you guys were okay just get off me man come get some seaweed get some ingredients wow you guys really boom 
License to kill, dude. I don't want to waste my bullets on you. It's not that hard to find ammo in this game, but still. I guess when you can harpoon, it's a lot easier. I'm surprised the harpoon damages the meat as much as a bullet, but I guess like the arrowhead would be pretty beefy. Okay, so it does not look like we'll find any more marlin, but I would imagine just based on what I'm assuming that we'll be able to find another two in our next dive, just because it's Marlin day, I would imagine they do it just in case you haven't been saving up, but we have. So we're gonna be able to go ahead and just um, enhance our Marlin dishes. I'm pretty sure that we've gone through and gotten all of our Marlin recipes, which is gonna be huge, but I need to make sure if we don't that we get them because they're gonna be way better than just the Marlin sushi. But that's kind of the plan for when we uh, set up tonight's dinner service. And then like I said, as soon as this Marlin event's done, we'll be able to go back through and start crushing out these quests. But it's been almost an hour now of just straight farming and preparing for this event and obviously getting that VIP one done. It's amazing how fast time flies in this game. Absolutely amazing how fast time flies in this game. Again, just because there's so many little things to do, so... If you're looking for something to keep you busy, I would definitely recommend this game. If it looks interesting to you at all, if you like the little bit of grind, but like reasonable, functional grind, this game is a lot of fun. I love, I like, I love the tedium. It is, it's a tedious game, but the little hits of progression are so fun. Might not be for everybody, but there's a reason that this game has rave reviews. And it's honestly just so chill. You guys have seen, if you've spent any bit of time with us, you guys have seen how chill this game really is. You kind of play it at your own pace, do what you want to do when you want to do it. Let's get this kelp. I'm just looking, I'm surprised actually we haven't run into any sharks yet, because I'm really just looking for something big to kind of harvest and bring back at this point. We got our marlins, but I haven't really found much besides that. But it was nice to get two of them. Either way, this dive isn't going to be a fail for sure. Just be nice to bring back some more stuff. Just gonna find out where it's all hiding at. Ah, oh, I'll let that go too quick. Get some oxygen. I don't know if I missed the way to go down even deeper here. Because like even still at this point we could just polish off some of those jellyfish. Might as well. I could get that uh, I'll get this bone just in case. I would imagine these bones have to turn into something craftable later. That or be worth a decent amount of money to sell. I think I went down there already. And there was a bottom, so I'm looking. Whoa. That guy skunked me. Unless it was over here that there was the bottom. I'm just looking for sharks. I'm surprised that there aren't any. Or that we haven't seen any yet. Not that there aren't any, but that we haven't seen any yet. Okay, we should be going down now. I think. I hope. Yeah, perfect. Okay, here's some, okay, I'll take this shark for sure. This is the frayed shark or frill shark or whatever. Making them look kind of goofy right now. Perfect. So obviously we've already used our drone, but we'll just carry around this meat. We got lots of room right now, so pop this guy. 
This is more so just to complete the challenge. Again, I don't really want the jellyfish meat, but if we're gonna kill these guys, we might as well pick it up. Again, like we're really just looking to be able to bring some stuff back after this dive here, so. I'll switch the sensor bombs for now, but let's just see if we got any other jellyfish cooking around down in here. It'll be exciting to spend a lot more time in these depths because it's gotten to the point where we've pretty much, oh, I forgot there's the coral to get as well for that other quest. Because we need Boncho to make us some more of this stuff. Right, okay. Well, we might as well see if we can get that then because I forgot that there was actually still something to collect down around here. So we'll make our way around. Getting a good amount of these guys dead. We just need to find the red ones now. We got one more of these. These colorful guys, and then we gotta find the red ones, but. Okay, nothing here. We wanna just keep going lower. So let's use this flashlight. Burn our way through here. UV, baby. Need SPF 50, my guys. Here we go. Oh, this is just to get into their house, so this isn't really going to do me any good. Okay. Looks like these quest areas are always in the same spot, I think. Ow. Because it's always the one that... It's always on the right side. But I always forget that. Because honestly, like, a lot of this stuff does look the same. But... Go down here. Flying, flying. Here we go. What's this? Okay. These are the red guys. I don't know if we actually got all the colorful ones or no. If we needed one more, but. Nice crown seahorse, rank four. It's gonna be our stud racer, this guy too. I wonder if you can like breed them. Make them champions. Pickaxe. Might be helpful. Not meleeing, so might as well get some functionality out of that. Lily coral, so we have one of each right now. I still don't know how we actually kill these crabs. I've shot them and they don't do anything, so. Okay, so we got the lily coral. Here's some amethyst here. I guess we've done a little bit of crafting with the amethyst, but some UV light. Okay. Just gonna be looking for those brown seashells as well. Okay, get this little shark. Have yet to use that. Wow, two shots on that thing? Damn. Cookie cutter shark. Cookie dough? Mm. Okay, what else we got? Okay. Get some more of that uh, opal ore. That'd be tight. Don't know still what we use this for. Obviously, it's for like increased upgrading, but we haven't actually seen any recipes for it yet. Or that use it yet, I mean. Okay. Starting to fill up our bags a little bit here. Ripping on through. Going deeper and deeper and deeper. I think this is where we were doing that one quest. Pretty sure. Oh. Just leave him be for now. Pick up some ammo. Got an escape pod. That's cool. Again, though, I'm pretty sure that's just set up because this is where we were pulling those pins. Looks like we could even go lower still. This might be the lowest we've ever swam. Is this where we did that boss fight? I think so. Just a bunch.
bunch of random nothing down here. Oh yeah, this is where the sea village thing is. Okay. I wonder if maybe it makes sense to turn in some of these quests right now, but I know with me I'm gonna get sidetracked and then end up questing. So. I was just thinking, like, if they give us money, but I don't think they do, they'll just give us the, like, their currency, so it won't work the same. Oh, yeah, here we go. Come here, big guy. Ah, <laughs> lights out. Couldn't even get close. The range on this, on this rifle is amazing. Let's get this meat, though. Mega mouth shark meat. It's gonna be a fancy dish. Very nice. Back to moving very slow. But I wonder how deep we can actually get. Like, I don't know if we have to open up a spot through their village, because I don't think we can go lower than that right now. Our dive suit capabilities would let us go lower than that. That's the only reason I know we can get lower than this, but I don't know where you would actually do it. Cause like we've been kind of just skimping along the bottom here for a little while. So I think at this point, we'll just use the escape pod. We'll get out of here, get ready for our second dive. Basically do the same thing. Look to collect some shark, uh, collect some marlin. And then I'm super stoked to set up our uh, uh, set up our menu for the um, special event. We should be able to make an absolute killing, I would imagine. We've got a lot of Marlin meat. So as I said, like I'm imagining that this next dive, we should find two Marlin as well. I would imagine that the game probably just sets up knowing that maybe you haven't been farming this stuff as early as we have, but, or maybe you screwed up with recipes or something. I don't know, but okay. What do we want? So we've yet to find, we have yet to find seahorses higher than rank four, but Red lionfish row, don't care. Okay, now he doesn't restock his shop. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. Might as well sell these. Another 400 bucks, that's cool. Small flask for holding something, yeah. Can probably be used for, okay. So I don't know if we actually use these bones yet for crafting at all, but. Enhancing weapons, enhancing weapons, the diamond ore. I forgot we found that, but again, I don't think we're at that point yet for crafting. Upgrades. Hmm. Thirty five damage. Instant tranquilization. So it's five less damage, but we have 40% chance of instant. Tranquilized creatures will be of high grade. That's really cool, but. Tranquilizer gun. Hmm. Okay. Grenade launcher. Nice. Okay. Let's get to it. Find some Marlin again. Blue spotted stargazer. So we're gonna skim around the top here again. Looking for our Marlin. We're gonna have to shoot them though, but we can use our drone to lift them, which is gonna be super important. Nice. Little shock baton.
yet to see one. Maybe we need to be a little deeper here. Floating in at around 11. But I wonder how many fragments we have. We gotta have a lot. Lionfish are gonna come try and spunk us a little bit here. Maybe, probably. Sea urchin, okay. Titan fish. Our boy, the parrot fish. <laughs> Not sure why he kept bouncing off, but. you can actually catch them unless it's daytime or nighttime. Okay, so we got a little shark here. Not really what we're wanting, but let's reel this guy in. The shark hasn't learned yet, apparently. Same with this lionfish. I don't know how many of these are going to kill before they realize that they're wasting their time. Just hold on to his meat because I'm still convinced we're gonna find some marlin. Just gonna find it. I don't think we're gonna find them this low, so I'm just trying to scoot across here and then we'll go up a bit. See what's in here. Cooking pot down there as well. Take a scooter, sure. Some miso. Again, I don't really think we have any recipes that call for that yet, but when we do, I would imagine that's like a more complex ingredient. So when we do, um, be sending those guys, our, our staff, dispatch them to pick that up. Get in there. Let that horse, see horse go. I always want to call them horse fish for some reason. I know what they are, but... No. Okay. These friggin' lionfish. Man, where is the marlin around here? Hey, yo! Okay, so this is cool. I wish we had our trap, but... Ow. Good poke, buddy. Gotta watch him. Gotta at least get one. Gotta at least get one. I just gotta find bullets though and we'll be fine. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. I forgot we can drone this. Perfect. Gotta find that other one now, but I need ammo. Maybe a weapon upgrade even. got one but I'm really looking to get that second one okay where'd he go anyways oh yeah just gonna find some ammo really quick I'll be back dude don't you go anywhere I need some 
oxygen soon as well. Funny, everything but ammo. Two mats. Need oxygen. Where is everything? Need oxygen and ammo. this is the most important thing right now. But ammo would still be kind of nice. Before I forget where this guy is. Okay, that's helpful. Here we go. You just gotta look long enough. Okay. We're set. Okay, stop skunking me, alright? I don't want nothing to do with you. Just get out of here. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, of course there's ammo right here. Let's just find our guy. Here he is. If this is the same guy. Probably. Whoa. Nice. Float him on up. Peace out, my guy. Double check up here though that there wasn't another one. This eel. Yeah. You keep hiding, buddy. Skunk you out so fast. Just double check that we don't have another one here, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that we were chasing. So as expected, they did add a second one just to kind of beef up our our count here, knowing that it's VIP day that it's the event day so that's cool help us get a little bit more stocked here okay let's see then if we can finish that one challenge let's just try and go deep enough we'll look for sharks and we will look for those jellyfish because i'm pretty sure i need to get one more of those colorful ones and probably two more of those red ones so we'll see if we can kind of shoot down enough here might as well clean that up while we can chased by these damn lionfish but I can outrun that pretty quick it's the trigger fish that apparently never seem to let you go I get this quick don't think I could get down through there so we'll just shoot through the middle here apparently there's like pink seashells everywhere now couldn't find them for the life of me before but Oh, I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. What's going on, big man? Oh. Nice. Little softball KO shot. Yeah. Thumbs up. Good meat there, buddy. Okay. Just gonna keep shooting down here. I'll grab this because I'm gonna need my portable stuff eventually, anyways. Barracudas, I say hell no. Oh man, I wasn't even paying attention. I just did not see. Oh, okay, buddy, can you relax for a second? You wanna get stunned up or what? Get out of here, man. Olive oil. Don't really use olive oil yet either. as I want that. I value life more. I wonder if they have Marlin in like a couple of different regions. Like if we were to go in at that boss spawn. 
Actually, we're too low anyway, so that wouldn't really make sense. I just didn't want to waste time looking around in there, but if we're, yeah, we're too low for them to spawn anyway, so it wouldn't really make sense that they're there. But I wasn't sure actually if it was kind of like region locked or not. Trucking along here, we're in the depths now, so we should start seeing these jellyfish anytime. Just make sure we get these done. Should find at least one down here. It's usually loaded every time we come down, so. I'm surprised it's taken this long already. There's the flashlight, we're gonna need that. Damn fang tooth. sharks like we haven't really found there's the marlins we had our one our one shark boy but that was it give me a big reef shark or something something to fill the bags shoot back down here again you can see like once you're back in the same region again it doesn't actually tell you that you're in the region you kind of just have to assume I didn't pick up that light. Okay. Whoops. Come here, cool guy. Actually realized that we didn't have this done yet either. Amazing. So Boncho will be able to make that up for us. This is going to land perfectly now. Once this event is done, we should have all of our side quests ready to complete and turn in now. We just have to make sure we get Boncho to make the sushi or make this porridge stuff. Um, but we should be in really good shape. I'm going to go ahead and grab this pickaxe because... Again, we don't really melee a whole lot, so I'd rather get some functionality out of this. Even though we're not really using um, the amethyst all that much either. Not yet, at least. I would imagine the blacksmith might have some crazier recipes for us than Duff does, but I'm not exactly sure. looking for jellyfish but I mean we'll take shark meat as well like I said that's kind of the game plan here maybe we can eventually harvest some of their eggs that'd be pretty sweet start farming this guy so we get a jellyfish over here I don't even know 100% like I said if we have that done or not but either way though it's kind of the next area that we need to start progressing in anyway so the more we're familiar with everything that goes on down here it's probably for the better Pop this guy. Nice. Just a single shot. Knocked him out. I'm gonna just try and rip through here. I wanna find those red ones. This guy, yeah. Ooh. I don't know why. Oh, it's because I've upgraded this so many times now all of a sudden. Nice. Gotta find one more. Then we'll have this challenge completely done. Find a couple more brown starfish. That'd be pretty tight too, but. Beggars can't be choosers, I hear. Where are the red ones at? Fams? Grab this bone. Yeah, I don't know how we would get... It must be a quest, like we blow those doors and stuff open, or like that little cave by them opens, because I'm 
pretty sure we're basically like as low as we can go right now without opening a new area. I'm convinced at this point because like I've done quite a bit of looking around and we can't seem to like scoot much past like 200, 200 meters down. And that's their village, so. But our dive suit's rated for like 600 kilometers, like 600 meters, so. Um, I think we're just gonna get out of here then. Wasn't the most successful trip, wasn't terrible. But only so much that we can do. I really wanna see if we can find one more of those red jellyfish, but. I think it's really just those other ones left right now so we'll just get out of here because once we finish this event we're gonna have a lot going on so okay gotta remember to go to our rice farm really quickly before the sushi bar okay move this guy over this guy over this guy over Lots of crowned ones there. Wow, we caught 42. That was the best that we've ever brought back. Wow. Nice, Boncho. Okay. Redispatch. These guys brought back three soy sauce? Oh my. How'd you guys get so damn much? That's amazing. Those guys got two? I thought the procurement sucked. That's amazing though. We should have a lot. Good. Okay, let's go to the farm. Look at these weeds. Sucking away the nutrients here. Okay. Fish farm, I don't think again that there's anything we can do I'm pretty sure that's like first thing in the morning but I'm just so caught up there's nothing in here yet right no it's not even open yet okay boat should have went to just sushi there's nothing to do on the boat okay look at the fireworks so dope for Marlin okay we got 2k on the dot nice West from the Sea People, Chapter 3. It's got nothing to do with us right now. Okay, everybody. Boncho, yo, I need your help, my guy. So he's going to make us this porridge again. Going absolutely ham. He loves it. Nice. Give it a little gift bag. Nice. Doesn't imagine it tasting good. He just gave it the stamp of approval. He looked stoked on that. Research. Okay. I'm glad I checked. Artisan Flame. Let's get this. 380 bucks. Let's get this. We've seen that. Okay. Wow, that's an amazing recipe as well. I'm going to get that too. 10 at 550? What do we need for that? That is money. Wow, okay. This is, we're just doing Marlin tonight. That's it. Because we gotta make sure. Do we only have the one recipe? No, where's the one that I just bought? Or researched? This. But we don't have Oh, that's literally straight up sailfish. I thought it was the same thing, but it's not. And we haven't seen the glacial area yet, so we can't actually get that. So our recipes are ahead of actually where we are in. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we're actually behind. We gotta, we gotta keep progressing through the story here because there's a vegetable farm that I'm not, that I don't have yet. Black vinegar I've never seen yet the glacial area okay so our recipes are way ahead of where we are in the story but it's because again i get too caught up in doing side things and i love just farming 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 and like being upgraded to make i don't know that's just how i am in these games but 
it's kind of nice that we're going to be able to just simply upgrade this as much as possible and just serve this but we got to watch too because this only makes one dish so we got to be careful we've seen this upgrade i don't know how many times so i'm going to just skip that we got to just make sure that we're going to be able to make enough of these obviously we have a lot of marlin meat so We're not, ooh, 35, okay. So this is where we're at. We're gonna be serving this. We got 35 on the menu. It's literally just doing Marlin Sushi. Our boy hooked us up with an extra five when he prepared it. So that's the best we can do, but the taste of 342 is incredible. 289 per dish, cool. I just wanna make sure for sure that we do not have any others. Yeah, it's really too bad. So the sailfish, I guess, would count as Marlin meat. But again, we don't have access to glacial area. I don't have a vegetable farm yet. So yeah, we're kind of, um, this is outpacing us right now. Oh, black vinegar, apparently I have seen because we made that steamed wolf eel before. Hmm. Okay, well, either way, I'm gonna just go ahead, upgrade all of these recipes because I can right now. I'm not gonna put them on the menu, but just to kind of clear this stuff off here. Great Barracuda, Reef Shark, what's this, okay, okay, so we have our long no shark at max level as well and even still you can tell it's not all that great anymore either 290 taste is amazing but the price of it is really no big deal and i still don't really know what taste actually does like i know i guess in theory obviously what it does but these starry puffers wow they're really good for taste and for price. They're expensive. We gotta just farm those big time. 418 and 190 taste. It's a good thing we have a lot of those. We just need rice. That, wow. We gotta keep farming those. We gotta have like a whole thing just of starry puffers. We'll get that long nosed shark out of here because that trumps the taste is but we need, we gotta get paid you know we gotta get paid okay 40 that's all we're putting on the menu i don't know if we're gonna face more than have more than 40 customers but i just want to make sure that these guys are eating if they're coming here for marlin let's give them marlin let's get this stuff gone we've been farming this forever so let's get this gone all right guys you ready do it team open up open up open up we got 40 here and then we're gonna be serving the sushi it's just the regular sushi okay you got that drink drink okay, I'm gonna start running this then you guys got it you guys run the fire dishes I'm too slow this guy fully chalked up I'll get this. You guys just keep running. Keep making the money. Go down to the guy who's been waiting forever. Yeah, so I don't know what it means when they have like stars and stuff above their head or when they're flashing green. I'm not really sure. I'll get those dishes. Just keep serving. I'll get this beer. I'll get the beer. Oh, oh nice pour. I'll get the dish. Just keep running, my guy. Keep running. Get the beer. Get the beer. Get the beer. Okay, nice. We actually had... Oh, wow. They still keep coming. 
Okay, so we only had four left. So we did end up tossing some Marlin, but at least we didn't throw out more of our menu. We served 36 customers. Stoked on that. That should have been a really good day, considering. 36 likes, that's our best liked day. We made 13K in revenue. Perfect five-star score. Sales were down a little bit, obviously, because um, this is only a $289 dish, but huge taste, huge taste. Again, I really, I just don't know what like the taste actually means. If it makes us get more likes, I guess that would make sense because that was our best day. I feel like usually we're in and around like high 20s. So to be able to get like low 30s is big. Cool. So farming reports available. Obviously we got a lot of cash again. We got some weeds that we got to scoop up salvage drone hmm. got some expensive upgrades we spent a lot on training last time so let's put a little bit of money into ourselves here let's go ahead and let's get us a, 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 a high quality air tank that was basically one upgrade and we're cooked now but I love these steel traps so much. What's this? Doll decoy. Distracts enemies and disappears after a while. I'm not sure why that would be useful yet, but I'm sure for bosses and stuff, it'd be pretty crazy. I'm gonna buy this trap. No, I won't. Not right now. Not right now. Let's quickly we'll go to our sushi bar. I don't remember if we have to dispatch anybody. Um, we'll feed the cats real quick. Get them all hooked up. This is, I'm only feeding the cats for uh, that achievement as well. I don't really know if you get something for this, but there's an achievement to like feed the cat 20 times. So it's essentially like 20 in-game days, I guess, but I'm pretty sure we've missed a couple. Either way though, um, I do want to see though. Okay, so we're still hiring. So we still have like an APB out on those guys. Cool. Um, these guys are all going to be returning today with soy sauce. That's going to be wild. Again, we're going to need money to hire all those people. So I'm not going to spend money on training. These guys should be all good. Let's go to our farm, pull those weeds. But we do now know that we need to uh, just kind of keep cooking through our missions here because, again, we're falling behind just in terms of where the game and recipes think we should be. We're probably more upgraded, and again, things that we're spending tedious time on, we're probably like higher than we need to be on those, but it should make these harder areas less of a challenge at least, so. Marlin, probably doesn't hurt. This guy, I don't know if he's really gonna be making a whole much of a difference to us now, but. I don't know if we need to farm these. I literally just want these puffer and maybe the yeah we'll keep those but these guys can come out now too they've kind of overstayed we'll see if we can get some more sheep head we see if we can get some more marbled electric ray but really the stars of this is going to be the starry puffer we want them to just go absolutely ham i might actually even take these other things out i'm going to because these guys are our money makers right now the starry puffers are amazing they have two of our top quality dishes, so. He has a shop? What? Why did I not know that? Oh, man. Let's expand our zero to 50 then, because I just want to, oh my, I didn't know that. Okay. I just want zero to 50. We're just gonna have a starry puffer farm. I opened all those plots, but did I not? What's this? Expand area. Man, you can put a lot of money into this. Okay, so that just must... Okay, that severely diminished the density. Holy! I didn't realize we could just go through and... Okay, so we could probably do that for our rice farm then too, because we're going to need a lot of... Okay. These guys are maxed out, so I don't really care so much. Let's just keep making money on um, these 
these bad boys. I'll have to see how that goes, but... Wow. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh, that's insane. Those starry puffers. Gonna be amazing. Let's actually take a quick look at our menu again really quickly. So price, so you can see, wow. The spotted jellyfish. Okay, maybe we do want those. Spotted jelly, but the starry puffer. Wow. At only level four for both of these dishes are amazing for taste and money. But you can see like this tuna. Oh, tiger shark meat's actually pretty high up there as well for level seven, but the long nose though, he's capped out and at a buck at, at a uh, 129, it's not all that big a deal. But what was the other, what were, what were our newer recipes here that I'm gonna be needing? Those are the boss, that's boss. I need black vinegar though, okay. So, marlin. Maybe we will need to farm some marlin. I wonder if I can send the marlin back. Marlin and tuna though are gonna be the next ones. Wow, okay. So nothing really this early is really gonna make much of a difference. Marlin and tuna, it's gonna be the big thing. So let's see if I can send these back. I probably can. Yeah, it's just sell now, but that's fine. Very good to know. Okay. Oh, I'm so stoked. So stoked. Okay. Those starry puffers. We're gonna be getting a boatload of those guys. That tuna. Sorry, that kind of crept up on me there. But that tuna, the marlin, the sailfish. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna just really worry about. Oh, hang on. I forgot again. There's so much to do in this game, and it all operates on the same premise. It's all the same loot. It's all the same areas and stuff so far. I cannot believe how much there is in this game, though. Okay, so I can't shop from this guy yet, so I can't actually make our farm bigger. Okay, that's fine. As long as I'm not missing something, because I did not know that. I don't know if it actually mentioned that. It's possible that I skipped through, but I feel like I've only ever had the option to talk to him before, so I don't know when all of a sudden that was whatever, but either way. Okay, so I'm going to use this mirror. This is going to take us back down here now. We should be able to complete a lot of these side quests. We should be able to just kind of keep progressing now through our main quest line. That's super cool art. I love that. Obviously, it's Dave in the village here, so. Okay. You got a quest for me? I got a whole bunch to drop off, so what do you want me to do? Tube coral. I wish you told me when I was out there. There's no way though with all of these side quests that we have that we aren't going to be able to at least unlock this main quest. But maybe they just completely operate on, on credit for a while here. I'm not sure. Let's try this beluga whale thing. I'm not going to be betting, so let's just get this thing. The beluga taxi, let's go. Yo, he's fast. Nice. Whoa. Ain't that fancy. That was amazing. Nice. I don't even have to get off this. Sweet. 20 credit for that. Nice. Okay. Take a quick on spin here. Will you stay parked, bud? Do you want to dismount? I mean, I don't, but I don't think I can go in there without it. That sucks, but hey, what up, ah? Uh? Nice, 25 credit. Boom. Okay, so we got trust now. Huge. What's this? I want to just cash in all of these quests that we have right now, though. Good 
empty this log. Oh man, we're just gonna keep adding on. These guys got a lot for us to do. This is like a conventional town where you would get quests and stuff in the RPG. Purple pet squid, okay. Shiny jellyfish. High quality food, okay. We have that. But it just makes sense to collect all these quests that way. If there is a whole bunch when we're actually out there, then we can just kind of polish off a couple at a time. Gotta go back to this. Um, gonna go back to that um, mirror though, so we can teleport to the back. You can see we have our oxygen upgraded now to 425. That's huge. Storage is lacking a little bit now. It's one of the things that it's actually like underdeveloped, but having the drone now helps us get some of the bigger animals so it does definitely free up a lot of room for us that and we're not having to carry around all of these like shells and bones and stuff for those challenges not that the shells are all that heavy but like we are severely cutting down our inventory right now so the tree the divine tree okay Okay. So everybody's getting sick around here because the tree is melting. The ice on the tree is melting. Okay. Check out the glacial area. Okay, so now we're going to unlock the glacial area. Perfect. Glacial passage. Put the key inside the abandoned cave. Okay. Please go to the get the Please go and get the key to the glacial passage from the abandoned cave. Amazing. Okay, so we'll at least unlock this area now. Okay. We've got a lot of stuff in here, man. Was I not all the way down here yet? Oh yeah, okay, awesome. See people wedding. All right, yeah, let's see this get done. The scenery, like the color palette and stuff on the scene is awesome. Love the bright, like vibrant colors. Oh. There goes his damn arm. Well, that sucks. Yo, there's some quests all over this damn place. Okay, repair his statue. I thought it said I had to bring something back. Talk to Cobra. What is this now? Oh, so they basically have little missions now as well. Little challenges as well. And this just gives me, like, their currency. Okay. crabs okay I was gonna say I should be able to deliver these I felt like I had them all I have these two oh amazing so I need to still do the spider crab one but that's huge I wonder what I do with like if I can just gamble with this stuff then I don't really care so much but Anybody further down here that I missed? There's a lot of people in this town. There's a lot of places in this town. Okay, let me just double check. Where is my in progress? So I don't actually have my phone if I'm not on the boat. So I can actually go through my entire like to-do list, but that's fine. I think the biggest thing right now is getting the main quest out of the way. I don't know though if it's gonna let me, cause I can't go through and switch what I'm tracking. Oh, maybe I can. 
full list. But this is all still just my side quests though, so. Where's the glacial area one? Okay. Ecology research, special customer. Okay, so it doesn't actually have my main quest highlighted. So I don't 100% know if it's going to show up on my compass thing when I get out of there, but we'll see. I'm hoping it does, because it'd be nice to be able to get to that area. Obviously we haven't been there yet, and that's the next kind of area for natural progression here. So I can use the mirror to go back to the boat, but I don't want to go back to the boat yet if this is kind of where we're needing to be. But I'm curious once I get out of this town, if it's gonna kind of awaken my main quest here and give me that compass. So hopefully, hopefully. No. Did not. Whoop. Okay. Well, we can just treat this as a dive for now then, I think. What's this? Oh. This is... This was un not open before, was it? Okay. So we gotta follow this guy. I forgot there's other side quests now that I can do for these people, so. I gotta find like that tube coral and stuff. Gotta figure out how to get those crabs as well. We're looking for that purple octopus thing. Oh, what up, cool guy? Hey, man. Oh, you scared, dude? Back here, brother. Coming in, man. Let's try luring it outside. I have high quality food. Um, tube coral or whatever as well. That'd be pretty sweet. Because in my other quest, I need to go to Cobra. Okay. I don't know if I actually did unlock it. So it's just what was unlocked for me already, but I didn't think I could actually go through that thing. Send this guy up. Okay. Apparently he's not big enough for that. Okay, there's diamond. I should have known, honestly, just by the materials and stuff that we're finding. Like, I'm not even close to using opal yet, and I'm already finding diamond. So that makes sense. I'm 
my dives have been really focused on just like collecting and looting fish when we should be just trying to push some missions some objectives so when we start out the next episode that's kind of kind of be our game plan is just ripping through the actual like story mode of this not that that hasn't been like a focus but i don't think it's been the primary focus with intento like in these kinds of games i'm always kind of the one to work on like the side things first like even right now i want to find some good fish down here so that we can make this all worth it let's see if we can kill this thing because i don't know how at this point i have some bombs so maybe we can drop it on them got those two challenges done because we should have got the brill starfish as well which is awesome like smooth transitions in and around you need that flashlight and I just feel like it really slows things down makes me not even really want to explore this area because that's pretty tedious but just trying to see if there's anything easy that we can grab maybe we'll just get this this jellyfish stuff because we know that it's oh it's not even this jellyfish stuff that's worth money it's the other ones the white spotted but maybe we'll eventually get some recipes that use this one. If one jellyfish fish dish, dish is worth a lot, maybe another one will be as well. Okay. Let's at least fill up our bags a little bit more here. sea village maybe or i guess we could use an escape pod because it's going to say i was just going to go to the sea village and then use the mirror but could probably just escape pod if i could find that faster might as well just pull like as much of this stuff as i can now this thing takes a lot of damage before it even gets hooked Let's pop out of here and see what we got going on. So it was a pretty short dive. We did get a lot of like little quests done though, so that was the biggest thing. 
the whale bones, I'm pretty sure we've seen stone adhesive. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. Surprised they let you keep this many in the inventory. Biggest fish was the spider crab. Yeah, we didn't really bring much back. We know that though. Okay. Crops are all grown come harvest. Okay, so let's go to the farm. I need two coral from the whale bones and I'm pretty sure that's in our main area here. Weeds, get this gone. What's the deal with this? Nice. Getting all that grass. Nice. Okay. We need to remove all the re weeds. We did. Very cool. Okay. Peace out, bud. Have a good one. Okay, we'll go back to the boat. Okay. What do I have right now for missions? All missions. Oh, I don't even have to get the glacial stuff yet. Main mission. Return to tension. Okay. I definitely thought I had. Hmm. Okay, return to him. Talk to Cro Cobra. Talk to her. Okay. Look for some in the depths. Okay. Nice, 50 points here. Okay. So we need to remove more of those. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go back down and dive. We'll go down to the sea people again, just to clean up. We should be able to complete two of these quests. The tube coral, I don't know exactly where we need to go. I probably just needed to, we're gonna have to kind of go the reverse way. I'll have to use that flashlight to burn back those tentacles, but it is what it is. I was honestly just kind of being lazy there, but again, that's the one like slow part of this game is just navigating that whole area. It's cool because it's all new. Kind of. It's the most new anyways, but... Okay, what do you have here? Oh, so they just give you new stuff. I have 31, so I can deliver this again already. It just keeps giving me money. Okay. Sweet. Looks like you can just keep depositing these. Maybe not. They have another quest for me. Underwater lake. Okay. It's closed off with a front door. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's what we saw. There should be a guide sign nearby. Yeah, okay, so we have seen that. Bring, please bring Meryl back. Okay. Okay. So that'll help get us to the new area, though. I know what signs they're talking about because it helps us navigate to this area as well. But we're just getting a bunch of other quests. Minerals. Oh, dude, no problem. I got a lot. Opal. Okay. So this helps us reopen his workshop. Okay. Divine fruit tree is needed to, to smelt minerals. The heat has dissipated because I left it on for too long. Get some fruit. Okay. Okay. So we're just chopping through side quests right now. We don't have an actual main quest, so. Okay. Bring back the divine tree fruit. Put it into the basket that I'm holding. Okay. Five fruits. Oh, it's like a timed mission here. A little bit of basketball. Whoop. I screwed that up. Hey, stop moving, buddy. Trying to make this easy on me or what? What a goof. 
What are you doing? I'm not gonna pick that up now. Uh oh. What are you? Why are you moving, my guy? Okay, he's gonna move again. Try and get ahead of him. Oh, chuck it! Oh, you goon! Get it. No! Whoops! I accidentally let go of that. I guess there's like a limited number of fruit. I don't know why he would move. Buddy, we in a, doing this as a team, my guy, or what? I think it's easiest instead of trying to chuck them, I'll just fly them down to him. Takes so much longer, but a lot easier to kind of predict where he's going to be is if we just fly him down. This guy just likes to move for no reason. Way easier doing this. Stop moving, buddy. There we go. Boom! No problem. Okay. Go back to the workshop. Now we should be able to fire this thing up. Okay. So he's going to open up the workshop. It's going to be very interesting to see what we can make here. Maybe we can make, I'm assuming, higher grade items. Oh, maybe he makes melee weapons. But again, we don't even really melee, so it's not that big a deal, but... That'll be cool anyway. It gives us a reason to spend all of that material. All the minerals and stuff that we've been collecting for some time now. Okay. Nice. So we're getting a bunch of credits, but at this point I don't really know what the credits are doing for me. Cool. So an inventory item. We have yet to actually place anything in the inventory or in the for interior items at our place, but what the heck is this? Okay. Yeah, I'm very curious to see. Like, if that guy makes melee weapons, that's super cool. Because our knife sucks, but like, I never really need to use them, so. this oh yeah amazing perfect <laughs> I can just keep depositing okay no sweet okay okay here we go caulking gun And this Dave is amazing. Scuba diver, underwater welder. Whoa, man, that was fast. What are you doing, Dave? Breaking concentration here. I don't know how that happened. I'm not gonna get perfect. That's for sure. But I don't think it really matters. Okay, we got good. Get a little bit of a mess there. Looks completely undamaged. No, sorry, that would have been perfect, but we only got good. Okay, so again, like I really don't know what this credit is doing, but can't hurt, I guess. We've got a lot of their currency. Again, as far as I understand, it's just for gambling. Maybe we need to pay it to the blacksmith as well. I'm not sure. We'll have to continue just seeing here. They have a lot of quests for us. Isn't this our farmer guy? Looks like the farmer. It's like the underwater version of him. Seed book. Nymo's temple. Can you borrow another book? Okay. They 
love having us just chilling around here. So we have to go up to the top. Gotta use that little teleporter, I think. Down. Holy man. So many side quests, though. Oh, this must be the glacial area. Yo, that looks amazing. Look at that. Wow. I'm assuming that's the glacial area. Things like an iceberg, and it's pissing down a waterfall. So that looks super sweet, though. That looked really cool. <laughs> He said something about a basement, no. He likes playing some moves this one. Probably should have paid attention a bit more. I saw the title, but it was something about like volume two of in the basement, so I don't think that's right. I don't think the one that I have is right. But I don't think he actually told me a specific one. Like it's not like those books had titles at least, I guess is what I'm saying. not the right one. We're gonna have to do this three damn times. He wouldn't tell me what he said the first time. Guy's too cool for that. It had a really long title, but I would have known it if I could see the titles. It just shows me the covers, but none of it actually makes sense. I'm stoked. If that's where we go, that's going to be so sweet. It's a nice area. It should be easy to get to as well because we just go into the mirror part. Better be it. He said something about doing something alone in his basement, so maybe he wants the girl book, I'm not sure. Let's see what this guy's all about though. I'm hoping it's this one, because I don't want to have to come back a third time. Not that this is hard, but I could use my uh, beluga taxi, but you have to dismount every time you go in a building, so. Ask for your transport so I could watch a cutscene. Here we go. Fly, baby. Wish this thing would like teleport you to the back. It's smooth though. Look at that burnout. That's awesome. Thanks for the ride, homie. I feel like this was a setup to begin with. It's gonna be none of these books. <laughs> May the protection be with me, that's what I said. All right, my guy. I have. 
have actually. Okay, I only have two quests on the go right now, so that's a lot easier to kind of. Tube coral. And then I still have that other challenge, unless that's reset now, but it was for killing the crabs. Oh, that's why. Stupid. I didn't catch that middle part. As king, I can't stand by. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense now, seeing it. Okay. Seaweed seed that's growing in our village. Try going to the village as farmer. Kumo. Okay. Nice. Seaweed. Now we can grow seaweed at our farm, I think. That's going to be rad. have that and rice. Cool. Because we use seaweed in a lot of dishes too. It's pretty easy to farm, but the more that we can have that's kind of self-sustaining is going to be way better for us. Again, it doesn't really like weigh all that much, so it's not that bad to collect, but if you don't have to, why bother? What up, man? I need some help, yo. Oh, it can be harvested at the seaweed farm. Okay. Bring me a dish made of seaweed. Okay. Talk to Boncho. Okay. So let's get out of the depths here, then take this beluga we're gonna fly out of here and see if we can find some of that tube coral because again we're not gonna find much fish on this one um, the idea of this whole run I guess isn't really to stock our sushi bar it's gonna be to just polish up these um, side quests for right now so let's just try and do that we need to find tube coral. We need to find, explore the depths and find three tube coral. So to do that, again, we're gonna need to get out of this general area here. I'm gonna pick all of these up just in case I need to uh, bring back some more. Again, you can see it's always helpful when you're just randomly collecting a bunch of stuff here. Okay, so this is apparently how we got in. I thought we came from like the top down, but apparently not. I know you're in there, dude, but I don't really wanna mess with you. Take a shark, though. There's a shark. Okay, so let's go up here. Gonna be looking to grab one of those UV lights. Here's a pickaxe, probably. Yep. Farm this. boat in a while I feel like spending all of our time underwater here okay so here's our UV light awesome get this gonna kill more of those jellyfish so if we see them around that'll be nice but for right now I'm gonna just worry about this coral tube coral the nice part is they're gonna mark it so to this jellyfish here. Huge. Okay, underwater lake, sweet. Might as well unlock a new area while we're here, if we can. Just getting electrified here. Bullet 
That's nice. Let's see if I can kill one more crab as well. If there is another one. Lots of jellyfish. Okay. Clam. I don't think I can follow along on the bottom here. It's all walled off, yeah. So that was pointing to the right, so we should be able to just kind of follow this up and along. Gotta get fang tooth out of the way. Tell our harpoon's pretty weak right now. Gonna do a decent amount of damage before this guy even hooks, but we'll get it there. Keep getting these jellyfish as well. Might actually be able to get all 10 of them right now, which is gonna be sweet. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, here's some more signs. We gotta go up. Going up. You can see the sign there on our right and then on our left. Okay. I feel like it's all probably places that we've seen already. It's just they're all blocked off right now because we aren't that far in the, the main quest line to have these places available. So let's see where this actually is. Okay, I actually don't remember seeing this place. Crumbled rocks blocking the way. Looks like we need a pickaxe. I have one. Of course I do. Maybe they just put one here in case we don't. Oh, they didn't even. There's some tube coral. That's going to be sweet. Oxygen. Cool. Okay, I've got one tube coral. Here's another one. Awesome. This is actually going to end up being a pretty successful dive. I wasn't expecting much for it, but... See if we can find one more, that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, we did. Got our tube coral now. That's huge. What the heck is this? Have we gone down here? Oh yeah, we opened that up a long time ago. I feel like so we got a lot of weight on us right now because it's because we picked up all of those jellyfish and again, like they weigh a lot. Um, but this is nice to be able to just melee with this. Use our pickaxe and open this all up. Cool. Let's go. Go inside and find Marrow. Okay, so we're going to a new region now. This is the first time. I don't know if this is considered the glacial area or whatever. This is like frozen lake or something. So, underwater lake. Okay, I lied. Let's get this. Lots of spikies down here. I'm imagining it's going to have some sort of current down here. Just based on all of the spikes, but maybe not. Whoa, that looks so nice. That's so cool. Must be the underwater lake. Maybe I should take a photo. Yeah, I think so. It's super sweet. Where's the photo spot? Okay. That looks so nice. Very nice. Oh. Avoid the fog. Okay. That was my bad, yos. Okay, so we gotta wait for this fog to dissipate a bit here. Does it not leave? <laughs> I avoided the fog, but apparently I didn't get the underwater lake. Is that not where we are? Okay, perfect. Awesome. That's really cool. Super, super nice down here. Damn. Mm. 
Oh, I got another bait, uh, boss. What was that sound? I don't want to use this clam yet. Maybe I need to. I guess I'm not fighting the boss in this area, so I just want to stock up. Okay, should be a fight now because they've. Oh yeah. Let's go, baby. Oh, what up, man? He is ripped. Twisted metal shark. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's do this. The goblin shark. Yeah, you look pissed off. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Have to find a way. Does bullets not? Okay. 120 damage already. Okay. Oh. It's a good thing we have our like oxygen and stuff upgraded. I don't know what this does. What is this? Oh, I've never actually seen that before. Oh, that's sweet. I never actually understood what you did with that until just now. So now I can see why if you had an upgraded melee thing, that would be really good. Okay, so here's our ammo again. Boom! No problem. That guy got punked. But again, though, we have a lot of oxygen. So we probably, like when most people come down to do it, probably don't have as much oxygen as we do. Because again, like, I think we're way ahead on upgrades and stuff, or we'll, but we're way behind in story. So that's my guess. Before I talk to you, I have a couple other things that I need to do here quickly, please. Whoa, cool. this ammo box <laughs> barely defeated it are you kidding me I killed that thing okay going back to the village okay so i'm glad that we got as much done as we did while we were out there because this is going to bring us back to the village now awesome <laughs> awesome <laughs> Okay. Sweet. 25 credit. Curious Child is done. We're gonna talk to Boncho. We have the coral. What's this? Opal World. Opal War. We did not complete that yet. Okay. Um, so I need to talk to Boncho. Who do I need to deliver this tube stuff to? We're killing it, man. We polished off a lot of quests in this last, like, hour. That's probably what the next episode's gonna be as well. Hopefully we get to the point where we're doing some main quest stuff. Obviously we need to polish off all these side quests, it looks like, to get the main quest. Unless I'm, like, bugged or something, but... So I need to go talk to my boy Boncho. So we'll just use the mirror to go back up there. Boncho needs to make us a seafood dish or a seaweed dish so we can bring it back down to that guy and he can farm some seaweed for us. So that'll be a t uh, like a next episode thing. We'll get him to make it, but I do want to just kind of wrap this one up with another playthrough of our um, restaurant here. Okay. Nice. Goblin shark, sweet. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Cobra. Okay, so I must. Oh, a boncho. I thought I kept thinking it was Cobra. Okay, so the farm, I don't think we have anything to do. The fish farm, again, I'm pretty sure that's just like first thing in the morning, but I always like just checking this stuff before. Just to make sure. Especially since I feel like it's been so long since we checked this. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Okay, let's get out of here then. Okay, 
No, I don't want to dive. Let's go to the sushi bar. The farm should be fine. Based on that fish farm, there's probably so much depth still that we have to actually discover. And like what we can find down there, are, those dishes are going to be worth so much more than what we're actually spending time on right now too. So I really got to just focus on buckling down here and doing some of these main quest lines. Look at this homie though. Yeah. Yeah. Vegetable sushi. Normaki sushi. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is this guy is gonna help us get our vegetable garden, I would imagine. Or that farmer is gonna set up for our VIP guy. Hot pepper tuna. What? Hot pepper tuna chokes. Hot pepper tuna. Hot pepper tuna. Hot pepper tuna. Hot pepper tuna. Okay. Hot pepper tuna. Hot pepper tuna. Give me three days. I will serve you proper vegetable sushi. Okay. So we got our next little event. Nice. So Otto is going to make us the vegetable garden then. Awesome. So he's going to call us tomorrow. Perfect. We got that VIP coming in three days now. Beautiful. But for now, let's, let's set our menu quick. Actually, what do we need? Wow, 600. Okay, it's the goblin, that's why. The goblin shark. Skip this, because we've seen it. Amazing. Let's put this up on here now as well. 200. Maybe we'll wait. Wait for the higher price dishes. Yeah. 380, 385. Gotta wait for this thing. That's crazy. Parrotfish. Yo, amazing. I wonder if we still have a lot. We probably made it all into sushi though. God. Maybe uh, there's no point in upgrading those sushis then. Because we're not going to serve those. So I don't want to keep updating these. We, it would be better to just hold on to the meat. Until we can make proper dishes. Okay. Okay. Puffers are clutch. Wow. Okay. Let's put this on. 265. Marlin meat. Okay. I'm gonna put this on for sure. We get 10 servings of this, so let's do that. What can I only do? Oh. Oh, okay. 600. That'll get us six grand. Nice. Okay. We can do this as well. That's going to be 10. So that's 20 customers. It's 27. 28. We served like 36 last time, so. What do we do? We'll just get a boatload of money. This is what, 30 customers? 36. Okay. Do we still have all that parrotfish? Okay, so we have 70 parrotfish right now, I think. Unless it's already turned into the sushi. I still can't really figure out how that works, but. Because we don't actually commit the ingredients to the recipe until we commit it to the menu, so we should be okay. We have a lot of this. Hmm. What's the deal? Do I put this on? Okay, I will just for now. Whatever. I'll put that on. Okay, so how many is this? 32? 20? 30? 38? Okay, that's fine. Hoping that we don't have to throw any of those out. Waiting room. Hiring. Here's all of our people. 
This guy's an amazing server, but no appeal. This guy's amazing for procuring, though. Like, what do they have for... Clean up the messy seat, serves cocktails. Yo. Cooking and ingredient prep. Cleaning master, always gets tips. Cooking and serving. Wow. That's kind of no point though. It's double edge there. His procurement though goes to 914. Okay, well we're gonna hire all these people anyways. So let's just get the cheap ones out of the way because then we can at least commit them to dispatch. Okay. Oh wow, I can just hire them all, amazing. I want to send everybody for things now, but I need to set up our menu. Actually, that's what I meant to do need to find out what we're going to need for ingredients. Where's the recipes again? Okay. Okay, so if we look at this, can we send them for black vinegar? Miso. Looks like our top stuff still is salt but that's all the boss ones so we don't really have a whole lot of jellyfish right now not the right ones anyways we, okay let's just keep them on soy sauce just want to make sure I commit these guys uh, dispatch number owned we already have 12 maybe I'll get some of this then and just see Wow. That's gonna be so helpful. Okay, sweet. These guys are all coming back, or like all out with stuff. Beautiful, okay, let's do this now. We should be ready to open, so let's do it, guys. Got a lot on the menu here. Just hoping that we don't have to toss any of this. Okay, drink. Oh, get the drinks, get the drinks, get the drinks. Nice. Gotta deliver the close ones. Killing it. We're a team. Oh, I picked the one right at the end here, of course. Nice. Good cleaning up, bud. Good job, guys. Good job. We're killing this. We're already out of a lot of recipes. Damn. Or a lot of food. Still have nine dishes, though. Keep making them. Keep making them. I got the dishes. Don't worry about it. All right, my guy. Keep going, keep going. Got enough wasabi, there we go. Oh, nice, we're only gonna toss one dish. That was amazing. We only tossed one out of all of that. We only, to okay, we're gonna toss two. Yo, not bad, not bad. I think we tossed two of our most expensive, which sucks. But realistically though, we did very well. We got another we got another best day here. 16,000 in profit. We mocked that one. Another five star performance here. Yeah, it really sucks that we had to throw two of these out, but you never really know how it's gonna go. Oof, that would have been like an extra 1100, but not a big deal. That was a big day, big service. What's happening mm -hmm. now? What is going on? Is this Duff? <laughs> Yo, what up, dude? Nice weapon. Got guns and pizza boxes laying everywhere. This guy's amazing. 
<laughs> Yo, what is happening to this dude? Move my cursor, sorry guys. What is, oh, it's... Duff got hooked up, man. Oh, what is this? Live stage begins in Duff's dream. When the high button reaches the cursor, press the left and right button. Okay. Use your mouse to move your hand up and down and hit the green note. When the orange note appears, a sh um, shake left and right for a loud applause. Okay, this is whack. We'll see how this goes. It's like a tar hero. Alright. Tar hero and beat saber up in here. Barely cleared that? Is that what that is? Or is that just the progress towards the end? That was crazy. Okay. Alright. Okay. Did you play enough? I guess. I cleared it, so it seems fine. <laughs> Wonder if you get something for like getting better on that, or if you really just had to play enough to clear. I'm not exactly sure. It's the first time we've ever done that. <laughs> A new mobile game called Leia's Run is now available. You can play the game from your games, your phone's game factory. Okay, I'm not really sure what it would give you or what the point of it is, but we'll see. If it factors in at all or if it's just something else to do. Yo, it looks so nice here. Chapter 4 now, Abandoned Cave. Awesome. Tenjin asked me to bring him the Glacier Passage Key. Must return to the Elder's Place in the Sea People Village. Okay. Yo, it looks so nice here. Okay. Okay, so we're talking about the vegetable farm now. Okay, let's, okay, he's going to take us anyway, so it's not the end of the episode yet, but we're coming up on it. I want to see what this vegetable farm is all about here. Just growing some rice would be boring, okay? We made a garden next to it, okay, where you can grow vegetables and fruits, not just for vegetable sushi, but for all sorts of different dishes. Awesome. I'll give you some tools and seeds you'll need to farm with, okay? So we have a watering can. Pick these. You can wait for me, bud. Oh, you're not letting me. Okay. Okay, so here's our seeds. Carrots. What's this? An eggplant. Okay. Sweet. Now try planting the eggplant and carrot seeds I gave you. There are three bundles of each, so you can sit, fill one row with two packets. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Q and E to switch through quick 
slots, okay. Nice. <laughs> now we got a water. Uh, There's no wa no need to pour water on rainy days like this, but for practice, okay. So we gotta go back to our water here. Okay. Yeah, it all makes sense. Damn, man. There's always something to do in this game. I love it. Boom. Water up, boys. Nice and saturated here. Nice. Okay. What you get back from the crops is equal to the work you put in. Amazing. Because I love the tedium, so I'm going to be making a lot of this. Stop by often to pull the weeds and water the plants. No problem. I do that all the time. Status of the crops can be checked in Farm Now app, so don't forget to take care of them. Amazing. You can now use the vegetable farm. The vegetable farm is where you can grow various vegetables. Try growing various vegetables needed to research new recipes. Amazing. So this is why we had like cherry tomatoes. We I haven't seen any of these, but there was like the garlic for that one recipe. So very cool. Obviously we have a shop. Oh, expand. Watering can with slightly larger capacity. Okay. Expand rice patty. Okay, so we can't actually get new fields yet, but we can make more rice. Seven tiles are added for rice. That's sweet. After the next harvest. Okay. That's really cool though. So we can just we'll buy like five plants from him after. I'll upgrade the watering can when we can actually like plant more. Yeah. Because I can't actually make like what can I sell? nothing okay that's so sweet so we're gonna have a bigger rice plot here eventually when we can get more fields that's when i'll upgrade my watering can but might as well just keep this full that's so sweet just another thing to check up on let's just pop in here feed the cat again make sure he's all good him and his fam wonder if the interior makes like taste better or gives us more likes or something honestly like we could afford to change some of this now but like the white bar is super cool it's pretty chill it's like a beach bar up in here now maybe we'll just give this place a fresh look nice I like the blue though. That's pretty rad. Lighting. We still only have basic stuff. Saki bottles. Where is this actually replacing? That's cool. style here. Gotta have a phone. Christmas tree, nice. I dig that. Yeah, that's sweet. Works for me. Nice. Shop's looking good. Bought first interior item. I can't believe it took as long as it did, but you can see it looks pretty sweet now. Nice bar. Everything's white and blue. Looks cool. Cost us four grand, but I wonder if it adds anything to our restaurant. I'm not really sure. Might as well just keep hiring while we can, since it takes a couple of days for these guys to come back. Might as well just fill up all of our hiring slots and let these guys keep dispatching. And then once that's all good, we'll just keep training these guys. But we're making, starting to make a good amount of money here now. So fish farm, check and see what we got going on here. And then we're going to call at the end of this episode. But I just want to make sure that I'm 
finishing my thought process before we get off here just because okay wow we got 25 new ones or we have 25 total okay we have eight grade three okay so we're gonna have 16 in there still just killing it amazing buy these just in case okay might as well have these open but yeah all of these should be areas that we have not seen yet actually I would imagine that these are probably all night spots and then these are another three depths that we can go we might as well get that just because we're gonna be spending a lot more time in like the lower areas of the ocean so at least we have the chance to get them their eggs and start harvesting these guys so farming them up a bit Going back to the boat, I don't know if there's anything left to do here. I cannot get over how cool this looks here though. Farming reports available. Farm now. Nice. No pest damage. I don't know how we would clear that anyways. Okay, so this looks like just more so something to do. I don't know, doesn't think, I don't think you actually get anything for it. I cannot believe there's still an app that we haven't unlocked yet. Mail. Oh my. Shark. Special breeds of sharks. Oh my. So cool. There's always events and stuff going on in this game. Okay. So we're going to have to just make note of that. At least with the sharks, like it's... They're kind of everywhere. Um, once we're kind of questing, we should be able to find them. And just kind of harvest them as opposed to having them be like the main focus of our dive. But... I think with that, knowing that it's going to be a shark event, we could go through and upgrade our cargo. Get an extra 30 kilograms here. So that's gonna be sweet. Nice, okay. Definitely doing very well for upgrades here, I would say. I would say, perfect. Okay guys, I think that's probably a good spot to stop here. We have a thunderstorm, so I wonder if that would bring out rare creatures all the time, or if it was just specific to that one, um, that one fish. But either way, though, we have a VIP event in two days. We have the shark event now in three days, so that's going to be super exciting, as always. Um, we have, in the next episode, like I said, I think the main plan will be going through and um, going through all of our quests here. Actually, just give me one quick sec. Let me pop to the sushi bar again, because apparently we didn't talk to Boncho about growing these um, seaweeds or something. Or I did, but he wanted us to call somebody, didn't he? Bring me seaweed, white rice, and sea urchin. We don't, uh, we probably have them. We need white rice. Okay, no problem. So we'll have to get that from the farm, but we do have seaweed, we have, okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have that quest set up and ready to go, that's kind of where we're gonna pick up in the next episode. Just polishing off um, what's in our quest log right now. So I don't know if we have more than these three. Okay, so we do, we have four, but it's because of the spider crab one. What do we get for this? Okay, just their currency. Okay, awesome. Okay. Okay, awesome. So excited already to hop into the next episode, but obviously this one's nearing three hours, so I want to keep these, <laughs> I, I dare I say, somewhat shorter, but truly appreciate you guys coming, hanging out with us. Hopefully we'll see you in the next episode. If you liked what you saw today, if you like kind of the vibe that we're putting down, if you're liking Dave the Diver content, make sure that you do like this video, comment, question, anything that you have for us in the comment section of this video. And again, if you haven't already, please do make sure that you're subscribing to Friendly Friends of Games YouTube channel. Constantly putting daily content out for you guys to enjoy. And again, with um, subscription, you can make sure that you have your notifications turned on. That way you'll know exactly when the next episode of Dave the Diver is coming out. So 
Appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day, everybody.